thunder take you! Once again, the threat to Earthrealm has been vanquished. The deadly alliance is no more. What dangers lie in the future I can no longer foresee. Perhaps the Dragon King will in fact return. Perhaps the depths of the Netherrealm will spew forth a legion of only. Even the vampire people pose a threat to peace now that Outworld is in chaos. But one thing is certain. Earthrealm must be protected. I have abandoned my status as Elder God to aid these mortals and act defiant of the heavens. I will instead remain here on Earth as God of Thunder. My patience for mortals has worn thin. If I am to protect Earthrealm, I must punish those who would threaten it. The fool Shujinko had let himself be deceived into believing that he worked for a greater good. He was in fact an unknowing tool of a greater evil. One that had almost caused the destruction of Earthrealm. That Shujinko undid his mistake and destroyed the Dragon King is of no importance. Those who place Earthrealm in harm's way will pay with their lives. The Thunder God, Raiden, overpowered Blaze and absorbed the energy intended to transform the sons of Argus. His strength enhanced beyond that of other gods, Raiden became a deity of unimaginable power. Releasing his fury upon the realms, he destroyed them all. None would threaten Earthrealm again.
As the interdimensional conflict ended, Raiden returned to Earthrealm, only to discover that exposure to his homeworld's sun weakened him greatly. The sorcerer Quan Chi offered Raiden a jade-colored stone that would replenish his power, in return for his sworn allegiance. Where Quan Chi acquired this stone is a mystery. Raiden must now decide between servitude to an evil sorcerer, or mortality. Shao Kahn was gone, but the scars of the merging of realms remained. Remnants of the invasion force roamed freely and had to be dealt with. But Earthrealm is vast, and Raiden is but one being. He recruited four warriors, one for each direction of the wind, and divided his soul, placing one part in each of them. Through these new heroes, Raiden can combat the forces of darkness in four places at once. After millennia of fending off Earthrealm's enemies, Raiden began to wonder if defense was the best path to peace. In a change of tactics, Raiden and the Shirai Ryu attacked Kotal Khan's armies before they could rebuild. They decimated the Emperor's forces, leaving Outworld at their mercy. The victorious Raiden claimed dominion over Outworld. The first of many threats to Earthrealm had been removed. Though I had defeated Shinnok, his corruption of Earthrealm's Jinsei had cracked the barrier between my realm and this one. I began having visions of Brainiac's collection of this Earth. I realized that Brainiac's actions would soon destroy the barrier among all the realms. All life would be annihilated. With Brainiac dispatched, I tended the injured. His wounds too great. Kent Nelson could not be saved. But as he died, he warned me. The Armageddon I had foreseen was the design of the Lords of Order. By destroying reality, they would return the multiverse to a perfectly ordered state, obliterating chaos. To defeat this powerful magic, the Justice League turned to this Earth's most proficient wizards and sorcerers. I gladly accepted the invitation to join them. The Lords will be contained. Order and chaos will remain in balance. Life as we know it will continue. Kronika had manipulated me. In timeline after timeline, she stoked my anger and fed my arrogance, turning me against Liu Kang. My nose rubbed in my own fallibility. I was humbled. How could I be worthy to accept the mantle as Keeper of Time? I thought that to control time and destiny fairly, I must purge myself of all human emotion. Summoning the strongest magic, I burned away my fear and anger. All that remained was pure logic. But I learned quickly that the logical choice is often not the just choice. Unless tempered by compassion and heart, logic leads to decisions no better than those based on anger or fear. Now I am once more at time's beginning. But on this journey through history, I will infuse logic with love. In this timeline, I will finally achieve peace 
for the citizens of all realms. Were it not for my godly counterpart, I would not have survived the battle against Titan Shang Tsung. Meeting him, though, raised questions. Why did I replace him in this new era? Why was I made mortal? Lord Liu Kang told me of his Raiden's nobility and righteousness, about his steadfast leadership in the defense of Earthrealm. He also told me about Raiden's dark side, how he could be consumed by rage and cast aside the rules he otherwise lived by. Making me mortal and incapable of such anger was to keep me from following in his footsteps. Though I understood the reasons why, I felt I had been done a disservice. To survive the coming battles, I may need the edge that only great rage can bring. As the Shaolin couldn't aid me, I sought out someone who could. Someone to stoke the fire within me and teach me to master it. For this, I could have no better teacher than the Shirai Ryu's Grand Master. Flawless victory. Well done. Thunder Storm.